Today on Creative Glam, I'm going to share with you my coffee bar setup. Hi guys and welcome back to Creative Glam. I'm so glad you stopped by. If you're new here, my name is Sharon. And if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. As I said earlier, I'm gonna share with you my coffee bar setup. Again, it's not my entertainment setup. It is my everyday setup for the family. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit the notification bell twice so you'll be notified when I upload new videos and I upload new videos multiple times a week. Now, let's get started. I'm gonna use this for decoration and for height. I got two of these from TJ Maxx, I believe, and I believe they were $3 each. That's one. And this is the other. These were $6 each and I got these from TJ Maxx. I have two of them, you know I always do. If I have one, I have two. And the topiary ball is something that I already had. I believe I got this from Home Goods. No, I believe I got I got this from Hobby Lobby. Sometime I'm gonna pop that in there for some greenery and some height. And this I got from um, TJ Maxx. Just a little, um, I believe it's a, a faux eucalyptus plant. I thought it was really cute. Um, I'm gonna start with the picture that you see back here is Cafe Latte, cause I'm a latte fanatic cappuccinos, cafe mocha, and espresso. And then of course, just my Keurig sitting over there. And this one here I purchased from the Dollar Tree. It says, what matters is not where you go in life. What matters is who you have beside you. And I thought that was really cool. And I thought it kind of matched the coffee mugs in that picture. So when I saw that at the Dollar Tree, I was like, why not? Oh, and this tray here, I got this tray from Target a while ago too. I don't remember how much I paid for it. I got this from Ross and I paid a dollar for this. And I thought it was so cute. But I'm gonna use that for for a heavy cream. Uh, sometimes I make my own whipped cream. I take heavy cream. I put it in the bullet with a little bit of sugar and I whip it up to make my own whipped cream. And then this is a container that I got from TJ Maxx. Put K-cups in there. Cinnabon, which is also a favorite flavor of ours. And I'll put those in as well. Some stirrers. I got those from the Dollar Tree. I got the little glass from the Dollar Tree, and I got the little stirrers that are inside, the little spoons inside from the Dollar Tree as well. I got these from Home Goods as well. One houses cinnamon sticks and one is mint chocolate chips and this is just the container that I use it had something else in it but I use it for my sugar now and this is the coffee syrup and I got this from TJ Maxx got that little tray from the Dollar Tree and then I've got some sparkling water, passion fruit, the LaCroix. For those of them that, coffee, I don't know about you all, but coffee makes me thirsty. I often find that I want water along with my coffee. What is it, gas and no gas? So I've got sparkling water and I've got flat regular water. Depends on what you want. I also have a little piece of um, a Grenache, a Grenache heart. Um, from Godiva. So if you want to drop this in the bottom of your coffee cup, if you want chocolate, if you want it chocolate but not chocolate mint, chocolate. And I'm gonna probably put that there. So I went to Wegmans and I purchased some croissants because in the morning sometimes you want to grab a little something and if you want to toast a croissant to have with your coffee, Yeah, 
I try to make sure I have pastries that my family enjoys in the coffee bar, uh, like toasted, uh, like croissants that they can toast and take with them, as well as uh, pound cake. Also, I put um, the travel cups. I got the travel cups from Wegmans as well, from the grocery store. Uh, I make sure I have some of those there as well because if you're moving kind of fast in the mornings and you need to take your coffee to go, you can grab a piece of, you can grab some pound cake or you can grab a croissant and, um, and some water and go on about your way. Yeah, guys, and that's about it. I like the way it turned out. What do you think? Homemade whipped cream, sugar, chocolate, chocolate mint chips, cinnamon, K-cups, stirrers, vanilla syrup, sparkling water, and flat water, to-go coffee cups, the cream-filled wafers, and pound cake, and croissants. And I also have, I have a couple pieces of Godiva ganache, just in case you want chocolate without the mint. What do you guys think? Do you guys add pastries to your coffee bar setup? Leave me a comment. I'd like to hear from you. Okay, guys, that's it. We're all done. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my coffee bar setup. I hope it gave you some inspiration and some ideas for your own coffee bar setup. And remember to like and share my videos because it helps my channel to grow. And also remember to turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I also have other videos linked down below in the description box. Be sure and check them out too. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you next time right here on Creative Glam. Bye.